was all together on the water. So we've only had we're just over a third of the way there now. Now, here's Ava, oh, a very focused paddler, very ah, intense. Yeah. She's, um, I mean, she won that world title back in 2019 before in, oh Tokyo. She's had a couple of, I know she was disappointed in her performance in Tokyo and she's had a couple of disappointing outings since then. For her confidence, it'd be wonderful to see her really nail a run here and, and get through. Yeah, it's always, yeah, it's always hard, but getting the confidence back after, after not failures, but less than desirable performances are, can be tricky, but Ava's, Ava loves kayaking, so it's, I think that's part of what keeps her on the World Cup circuit, yep. and driving and pushing for the fastest time. Yeah. And she's exciting. She's exciting to watch. And in a couple of weeks' time, will be on her home course in Tucson, and uh, she always does very, very well there. But yeah. Oh, that was nice. Oh, tight. I think she took a touch. Yeah. yeah. So that's that, unfortunate. We will see her at the start of the kayak cross as well. And she's definitely uh, a competitor to watch on the on the kayak cross. You're doing Field. the kayak cross? I will be, yes. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, new Olympic event, um, which has brought a lot more interest to the event this year, and uh, I think there's going to be some pretty fierce racing. There'll be no prisoners taken, that's yeah. for sure. It took, I think it took a, a few years for people to get, uh, and that's a piton. That'll be very costly on the chrono for Eva. I think this won't be enough for her, unfortunately, to pass through to the final. No, but unfortunately, she's going to be over the 110, so that'll be uh, that'll be a bit too slow, I think. Unfortunately for, for Eva, and she's yeah, I mean, yeah, disappointed with that. I think yeah. She can't question any of those decisions. I think they're all pretty pretty, pretty straightforward. But. You